Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Century Countess. So we are back with an update for the Mary Sanderson costume. I'm going to do a quick update. First things first, I didn't make this uh, chemise or smock or basically Mary Sanderson's orange, burnt orange top. Um, like I said, I'm on a budget, so I improvised to save money. So I didn't make this, but I'm just letting you know what I did alter it a little bit. There wasn't much needed for alteration. And um, here's the vest. Um, I'm going to be adding this, uh, these little lace loops to it. And then I made these myself. I used one of those, um, I call them fuzzy wires. I forget what they're properly called. And then I wrapped it with ribbon. Then I put a fabric glue over it to stiffen it up. And then I painted it gold and then I kind of wiped off the gold with a towel. Then I put some bias tape loops over it. So it's all pinned in. So this is what it's going to look like when it's put together. I'll be doing that off camera. So um, you won't be able to see the finish, the, uh, the putting together of the final touches of the vest but you will see the making of the skirt, attachment of the apron, etc. And then we will be completed with the costume. So I hope you enjoy that and um, stay tuned for that video, which is coming up now. So here's the fabric and the pattern pieces that I uh, cut out. I just widened them up a bit for more poofiness. Um, I didn't use the Elizabethan peasant themed pattern that I uh, decided on um, because it was too much fabric requirement. So I used a simple um, Disney version, which is just um, front and back. And then for the back, you just cut it a second time and then you cut it into two halves to make a side front, side back combo. So very easy. and. This is a Simplicity 2813 Disney Princess, and it only cost me $50.95 before tax, so and I apologize about the pattern layout. I don't really have that much space where I lay out my pattern sometimes, so it's not the easiest to display the skirt bit, but as you can see, they're just very simple, like, you know, kind of rectangular, slanted slightly on top, slightly, um, curved etc so what we're going to do is we're going to sew these pieces together So I am sewing the waist strap into the skirt. Um, oops, careful about that rickety rockety, sorry about that. Um, so I'm just putting it in, then I'm going to fold it over. And afterwards I'm going to deal with the hem, then close the final pieces together to make the full skirt add the elastic and that will be it so uh stay tuned for that basically <laughs> so i am sewing the waist strap into the skirt um oops careful about that rickety rockety sorry about that um 
So I'm just putting it in, then I'm going to fold it over. And afterwards, I'm going to deal with the hem, then close the final pieces together to make the full skirt. Add the elastic, and that will be it. So, uh, stay tuned for that, basically. <laughs> Here we are. This is the finished skirt, dressed, and purchased uh, Halloween shimmy smock top. Um, the next thing we gotta do is um, adjust the pleat because this is an elastic band, so we can just not fix it however we want. We can make it look baggy. We can make it look elegant. However we want. Next thing we gotta do is do the apron, so I'll show you how I did that. Let me, first, let me give you a full angle. There we are. So, Amazon arrived with the purple pillowcase that I'll be using for the apron for the Mary Sanderson costume. And, um, our lovely Josette is checking it out. Aren't you, sweetie? So, yeah. Little guest appearance from the lovely Josette. So, um, I really like how it's kind of um, crinkled like this. It gives it an age look. So, I'm going to go ahead with this look. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it to the skirt. I'm going to hand sew it on. This will be off camera because it's, you know, hand sewing. Um, one simple thing, and then there we go, um, is a little, eh, doesn't seem very exciting, for lack of a better word. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you the final result of the full Mary Sanderson costume. So here it is, the completed look for the Mary Sanderson costume, apron and all. Um... I will say one thing, the one thing that I could not do just yet is the pocket. I am way out of my budget for this month, um, and it's not even near the end of this month, so I have to improvise. Um, I will probably add them in the future. Also, um, it looks a little crooked because I kind of slipped it on. The mannequin a little more crookedly but it should be much better when I uh, put it on myself which will be very shortly um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, this is gonna irritate me this <laughs> um, not slip on skirt but like I said I just was so excited I slipped it on um, way too quickly but it is even, it is even. It's just like put it on a little bit perfectly on the mannequin. But it will look much better when I put it on myself. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that it was a short sewing adventure. Um, so stay tuned for more special featurettes. I will be doing a lot more for October. And see you soon.